Gennady Gogolyuk at work in his studio in Edinburgh. It's a small space, but he has a big Russian heritage to build from in his paintings. He spent 10 years studying painting, graphics and sculpture in his homeland, latterly at the acclaimed Academy of Art in St. Petersburg. I sometimes get completely carried away, as though I'm lost to the world. For me, the joy of painting is that loss of oneself. All my best paintings are like this. There is something of a miracle in them. In fact, for me, painting is a miraculous profession. It wasn't always painting that Gogolyuk was drawn to. As a student, big installations featured. After Perestroika in the 1980s and the sponsoring of state painters waned, his focus shifted to performance art. A chance gathering between friends led him to meet his future wife Rose, a Russian translator. They have three children and moved from Russia to Edinburgh, Rose's home city, in 1998. Here, prominent art collector and mentor, Professor Henry Walton, has watched the development of his work. His Russianness pervades his work in symbols, in uh, adornments to the picture itself. So there are folk quotations from his own past. He uh, is embedded in his Russianness, I think, to his personal detriment, but to the great enrichment of his art. Gogolyuk's influences are many, from Russian Orthodox icons, grand masters like Titian and Leonardo, through to Chagall and Joseph Boyce. His father-in-law, Professor Peter Franz, believes his artistic contribution deserves recognition. I think it's important for us in Britain and for us in the West to support an artist like Gennady. We tend to lose sight of a sort of depth, a profundity of vision and an awareness of um, spiritual values which can easily be mocked or parodied but which have seen straight and with a rather a more like a, a child's eye have a great deal of value for us now in the West. Now widely admired in art circles, does Gogolyuk accept that he possesses a touch of genius? Uh, not in me, but in Gogolyuk there definitely is. Gogolyuk's self-belief drives him to work tirelessly in his studio, producing paintings with an unaffected clarity and purity. These works are testament to his journey from childhood in the East to artistic maturity in the West.